for my daughters, it was an opportunity to be part of something larger, and they sang with all different types of girls from all different parts of the community, and they got to know them. And not unlike a sports team, they learned that even if they weren't close, close friends, they were part of something larger than themselves, and that was really meaningful to them. And I think even for the youngest, one of the things that the choir promises is that we'll give them the skills and help them to develop the self-discipline that it takes to participate in a professional level choir, no matter whether they're 10 or 100, they can participate in a choir. It gives them the opportunity to travel or just to have enjoy the joy of singing. Well, and all that comes out of that is self-confidence. They become much more self-confident young women, and isn't that what we want for all of our daughters mm -hmm. um, as they grow mm -hmm. up? We develop their singing voices so that they listen to each other and they learn how to blend with other voices where when they take voice lessons or learn to sing solos, it's a totally different skill. Right. When they sing together, that is the goal and the, you know, the product is this wonderful music that they can make together but not alone. My daughters would say there's no I in team. And it's true in a choir. There's no I in the choir. It's we, always. People who make music together cannot be enemies, at least while the music lasts. And that's PG. As long as we're singing, we're friends, and we're, we always have something that connects us that is our music.